All right, let's, let's just jump right into it. As the title says, I am finished with the pickup project. It's not done, I am just finished with it. I am in a different place than I was five years ago when I started it. The need of the truck has drastically changed. The places and projects I want to go are different from five years ago and the truck no longer fulfills any of those needs. When I started the truck project, I honestly absolutely believe that I would be able to take it apart and put it back together and get it running and then eventually sell it. However, the want for completing that has gone away. It's just not a project I wanna work on anymore. I've tried many things and I've done many exercises to try to get whatever it is to make you wanna work on the project. And it, it just never, it never, it never happened. I have been working on a project since July of last year. I was going to make that like a six part series once it was done, but I've decided to change that. And I'm going to start uploading bi-weekly videos of that project along with all the other projects uh, that I, I'm interested. To be perfectly frank, I'm not a Toyota person. I'm not a truck person. And no matter what I did, I just couldn't convince myself to get there. So I stopped working on it. <laughs> um, and the more I didn't work on it, the more I got further away from it. And it's at the point where I don't think there's anything that I could do mentally or physically to get myself to put the truck back together. So basically all I'm saying is the truck has got to go. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm not going to trash it. I'm not going to throw it away. I want to find the parts of it that I fixed a good home. I'm going to sell it all. I'm going to sell the engine. I'm going to sell the transmission. I'm going to sell the gearbox. I'm gonna sell the rear diff, I'm gonna sell the tires and the wheels that I just bought for it. I'm gonna sell the frame, um, cause it's a very solid platform at this point for somebody who wants to continue to modify or wants to fix their own truck. But before I can sell all that kind of stuff, I need to kind of clean it up, get it in a condition that it can sell. I'm gonna get the engine heads back on the block, get the timing belt on and kind of sell it together as one. I'm gonna include all of the wiring harness, all of the intake of the exhaust I bought for it that I was gonna put on, and that's all gonna be one package. Uh, and that's what we're going to start putting together right now. Here is the engine in all of its glory that has been sitting for a few years. I have been pulling the bag off, putting oil in the cylinders, rotating everything, keeping everything lubed up, do that about like once every three months or something like that. So let's, open up the bag and see what condition she's in and hopefully she hasn't completely rusted apart. At a glance, everything looks great. There's no rust on any of the surfaces. There's no rust in any of the pistons. There's no pitting. Nothing has developed since I worked on it. Everything still slides very smooth. There's a few rust spots on the splash tray, but I can use a Brillo pad to get rid of all that and don't have to worry about it because once it's covered in oil again, everything will be fine. And there's a few rust spots in the oil pan where I did the modification of moving the uh, oil port to the actual lowest part of the engine. So I'll clean that up, spray some high temp paint in there, and that'll be good for that guy. The heads look great as well. They are definitely covered in 
a year and a half of shop grime. Nothing is rusted though. All of the lobes look great. They've actually been well protected by a <laughs> layer of dust. I mean, the aluminum isn't gonna rust. None of the valves look rusted. Actually, I've got to pull the camshafts out so that I can put the heads on the block because for some odd reason, Toyota in their infinite wisdom decided to put half of the bolts underneath the cams. Everything looks in really good condition. I'm gonna give it a good spray down with brake parts cleaner, clean everything up, clean all the dust up, and then we are going to put the heads on the engine block, and then this bad boy will be ready to be sold. So let's turn some music on and get started. All right, let's get you caught up with what I have done. The heads are on, they are fully bolted down with a new set of ARP studs. Got new MLS head gaskets. Got the cams installed, torqued down. Got the oil pump reinstalled. And on the back, I got the new rear main seal installed as well. The last couple things I need to do are modify the drip tray, paint the oil pan, and install the water pump. And then this is ready to go out the door whenever somebody comes to buy it. So let's knock these out, get it finished, get it out of the way. engine back together and in a condition where I'm comfortable selling it and believe it'll be very reliable for the next person that buys it. The details for buying the truck parts. I will put a website right here. I'll put a website right here. 
This is the website that you can go to to look at all the parts. It will be in the description as long as there are parts to sell. Uh, if you're watching this and the link is no longer in the description, I've stopped selling stuff or the parts are all gone. There will be quite a few pictures of all the parts that I'm selling in the chunks that I'm selling it. And there will be links in those descriptions on how to contact me. If you're gonna ask me about particular parts inside the comments of this video, I will not be replying to them. Um, I will probably most likely remove them um, because I'm funneling all of this into the web page. So if you are interested in buying some of these parts, again, this is the website you go to. Um, and again, the link is in the description. After that explanation of where you can buy the parts, I wanted to do another bit of video showing me finishing the frame. It has been sitting outside. It got a bit rusty. I wanted to clean all the rust off. I wanted to spray some rust converter on it. And then I wanted to paint it all a flat black. And as you can see, a lot of it actually has gotten there, but that's only the bottom half. And to be honest, I'm, like I said before, just done with this project. Um, it will clean up nicely for the next owner. They can do as they please with the finish. They can sandblast it all, powder coat it, continue to weld on it, continue to paint on it. Um, that is no longer for me to decide. I'm ready to sell all this stuff. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. I'm sure it did not end the way many of you had hoped, but I am ready to move on to other stuff. So look for that website. If you're interested, if you know anybody that would be interested in these parts, send them that way. With that, I really do appreciate everybody who's joined this channel so far. I know you all had a lot of fun watching this build and I promise there's gonna be some awesome stuff coming along the way and it'll just be one week before you see what I'm working on next. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the next project. Bye, everybody.